Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today we are going to be looking at UCraft landing pages. Now, first things first, what is a landing page? Uh, it's actually a very simple term to understand. So it's basically a page where a visitor lands. And the main purpose of a landing page is that you take some sort of an action. So, for instance, there uh, could be a book launch coming and the author of the landing page wants you to uh, register to his or to her uh, book launch email list. And in order to do that, he or she has created a very simple page, uh, you know, telling all the nice things about the upcoming book. But then at some point, uh, the author is also including an opt-in form and uh, he or she hopes that you register to, her, to his or to her email list. And that's obviously just one example of uh, a landing page. But it's just a, a page where a visitor lands and then he or she the visitor is required to take some sort of an accent on that page. That's, I guess that's pretty much what a landing page is all about. Now, whenever you are choosing a online site builder, uh, you want to make sure that the landing page option or the possibility to create a landing page does exist. And I think that it, it does exist in many site builders, but of course you want to make sure that it does. Uh, in this case, we are looking at UCraft, which is a very nice online site builder, and they do have this very option available. So you can basically build build a landing page. Uh, it's it's a page which you do not necessarily need if you are just starting out with with building websites. Uh, maybe if you are launching something, you want to make sure that you have a landing page available or visible. Uh, but later on when you are uh, perhaps turning your blog into an online business you want to make sure that the landing page option exists and then you are more or less <laughs> most likely more uh, interested of, of landing pages so so just make sure that this option does exist with with your selected uh, site builder, but with with site uh, with sorry with UCraft this option does exist, and uh, that's what we are going to be looking at today. UCraft landing pages. Uh, I have written a blog post related to this, and I'm including a link to the blog post uh, under this video, so you can take a look at it. Uh, <clears throat> but um, yeah, let's get started with the landing page stuff. Um, so first of all, what I want you to know is that UCraft has a special plan which is uh, a landing page plan. And this is really nice. Like if, if you do not have any experience of UCraft and you want to just, you know, test drive the site builder, so you might just, you know, want to choose the landing page plan which is free. Uh, this makes it easier for you to uh, uh, learn UCraft and how to use their editor. But anyways, the landing page plan is free. <clears throat> Sorry, there is just one thing that I want you to uh, notice before you pick this plan. And it's basically the fact that uh, with any uh, landing page that you create this free account, uh, they do include their own watermark on the page. Now, obviously, if you are building an online business, you want to make sure that uh, your site is branded according to your specifications and you do not necessarily want to have any extra watermarks on the page. So in this case, if you want to get rid of the watermark, uh, you should upgrade to a premium level plan and for instance to this website uh, website plan which costs six dollars per month if you use the annual pricing plan uh, 
uh, <clears throat> still it's a very expen in very inexpensive if you uh, choose the monthly plan it's like eight eight bucks in month oh, sorry eight bucks eight bucks per month <laughs> sorry uh, so <clears throat> it's still very inexpensive but uh, that's basically the only way to get rid of the watermark uh, as you can see that they they say that at, at the end of the feature list that no you craft watermark if you choose the website plan and then of course they do have e-commerce plan but we are not talking about not talking about it here but just want want to make sure that you you notice this uh, thing at the end of the feature list okay so that's basically what the landing pages are and and what different options UCraft has when it comes to landing pages but what I'm going to show you next is how to actually create a landing page and there are actually I guess you could say that there are two different types of landing pages when it comes to UCraft but I will actually talk about those during this demonstration so what you will do first is that once you have created your account <coughs> sorry you will have to log in this is you know simple like this is what you would all already do like log into your account first and then <coughs> what you do next is that you start creating your website by clicking this create a new website clicking this plus icon here and it opens a wizard very simple and easy to use wizard where you can start making different decisions what you are what do you want to build now in this first uh, screen you will see that there is a landing page option so just click the choose button and what will happen next is that uh, you you will have to choose a template for your landing page now as you can see that there are different categories on the left there are business personal portfolio and you know different types of different types of landing page templates so just pick the one which looks good for you uh, let's see that that uh, that would let me just pick something uh, random because this is just for the demonstration purposes let's just pick this Alicia template by hovering over the template and then clicking the the select button and next what is going to happen is that you are required to enter a subdomain uh, for your site so in this current situation uh, the the name of your landing page or the address of your landing page is uh, going to be with uh, with a postfix dot ucraft dot me but obviously if you have your own domain and uh, you want to use your own existing domain or you want to register a new domain that's also fine <clears throat> but for this demonstration purposes i'm you know showing the subdomain example but let me just enter something very random uh on the screen and let's just say that it's Demos test landing page. Let's see if it's available. Click get started. And now what is happening is that UCraft is creating my landing page. Uh, it will take a while, <coughs> sorry, until uh, the creation of the landing page has has been finished. But once it's done, uh, we have a uh, landing page and it's currently working it's doing all these different types of settings as as I speak and then if you want to you can take a look at this explainer video how to use UCraft and you know how to work with UCraft but we are not going to do that so I will actually dismiss this screen by clicking this cross at the top right of the screen and now I I have a landing page <laughs> so <clears throat> it's yeah 
it's a very nice looking landing base but uh, page obviously but you want to make sure that you demo, uh, you actually tweak this landing page based on your own criteria and your own specifications and, and branding so I'm, I'm not going to do any other changes to this just wanted to show you how to create the landing page it's very simple and easy to do and you can change obviously all these different elements here so that's basically how you work with landing pages there is also something else that I wanted to show you <clears throat> sorry and this is related to landing pages as well so let me just uh, sorry let me just click this one and uh, let me just go to let me just go to the dashboard first so sites of course so what is happening here is that uh, there is also another type of landing page with you craft and it's the mobile landing page or app landing page this was a little bit confusing to me at first because I didn't quite understand what it's all about but it's basically all about uh, advertising your app. So for instance, if you have created a mobile app yourself or you have hired a developer to do the app work for you, uh, you know, create the app for you. So uh, it's basically a way of, uh, it's basically a way of uh, showing the world what your app is all about it's all about advertising your app maybe you have an app coming and you want to make sure that you have a very good looking app landing page you know telling all that all the features that your uh, up and coming app has so that's basically what app landing page is all about it's very simple to use and it's pretty much all the steps that I just showed you uh, but there is this one little difference that you will have to make sure that you pick when you create an app landing page. So let me just demonstrate how it works. So just once again, go to create a new website section on this page and click the plus sign. Choose the uh, package, which is the landing page, of course. And uh, once again, when you are choosing a temp choosing a template pick the app template which is at at the bottom left of, of this menu so click here and currently they do have just one <coughs> app landing page hopefully UCraft will release new app landing page templates at some point but right now they only do have one app template so you will have to pick that one this is for a imaginary weather checker app uh, which doesn't well it doesn't exist but it's just for the demonstration purposes but once again pick the landing page template by clicking select and then uh, enter a domain Demos test app landing page and click get started and once again, we are creating all these, or the UCraft is creating all these different things on the background. Uh, so it will take a moment once uh, all the necessary work is done, and uh, then you will see what the app landing page is really all about. Uh, yeah, it's. The whole process of creating landing page goes through very quickly and once again you are greeted with a uh, instructional video uh, how to work with UCraft uh, and we are not going to be looking at that so I will click the cross at the top right of the of the screen <coughs> and sorry <coughs> this is what the app landing page looks like so uh, it's very simple and easy easy to create it's 
it works pretty much like uh, a regular landing page creation process, uh, but you will only have to choose the app uh, template for this very landing page. And obviously, what you want to do next is that you want to start, you know, making all these different, different uh, modifications to this template so that it, it it's branded according to your specifications. Okay, that's great. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about this time. UCraft landing pages, what they are, and how to actually create landing pages. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I will get back to you soon with a new video. Bye bye.